Hi everyone, Mr. Mark here. I'd like you all to please stand for the singing of O Canada. Thank you very much. O Canada, terre de nos aïeux, ton front est saint de Car ton bras s'est porté l'épée, il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Three, two, one. Good morning. Uh, I just want to welcome uh, everybody to our annual Remembrance Day Assembly. Uh, it is a very, very important day. It's a day that we remember the men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice uh, to allow us to, to have everything that we have, all of the, the nice, comfortable life that we have and the food and the love and the kindness that exists in our, in our neighborhood and in our homes. Um, so it's very important to be respectful and kind uh, and caring today and to pay attention to the message that you're going to hear in the next couple of clips. Thank you. So the question we have to ask ourselves is why do we gather for Remembrance Day? And the reason is, it was on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918 that the guns were silenced. Armistice was declared, peace established after 66,573 Canadians alone had perished during the so-called Great War. So we are here today to remember and not forget what our fellow Canadians and Allied soldiers have done for us, so we can live in this wonderful city, province, country, safe and sound, due to the unselfish efforts of our armed forces personnel who continue today to stand on guard for us 365 days of the year, every 24 hours per day. Let us never, ever forget their sacrifices. Thank you. I'm now going to share a story about why we wear poppies. Who is it that we remember when we put a poppy on? And I want you guys to listen very, very carefully. And later on in our assembly, we're going to have a very short period of silence. And during that silence, you can think about one of these people that you'd like to remember for having served our country. A poppy is to remember. Once there was a long and terrible war, a war some called the Great War. Many young men went off to fight and many did not return home to their families. But still, in the muddy fields where they fought, wild poppies sprang up, glowing brightly. An army doctor, weary from tending the wounded, wrote a poem about that war and about those poppies. Here's the poem. It's called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. 
We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. His poem was read far and wide. When the war finally ended on November 11th, 1918, people everywhere celebrated the return to peace. A poppy is to remember those far from home crossing troubled lands. A poppy is to remember those who served in threatening waters and those who served in dangerous skies. A poppy is to remember the wounded and to remember those who cared for them. A poppy is to remember those who died and those who carried on without them. A poppy is to remember the brave ones who remain and their memories of battle. A poppy is for peace. Every year on Remembrance Day, it blooms across our land. A poppy is to remember. There's a retired Canadian soldier who's going to share a little bit of his story with you. Listen very, very carefully, okay? Hi, I'm Jamal Garner. I served in the Canadian Forces for 13 years in the Army. I joined in January 2002. I joined because at the time I thought I wanted to be a police officer <laughs> and because my dad was a police officer. And he was like, well, you're a little too young, you should might want to join the army and get some experience instead. And then in 2007, uh, well, 2006, they told us our unit was going to Afghanistan. So we trained for a year and a half with all our platoon, the same guys all the time, who were going to be deploying it. And then we deployed in 2007. Uh, I spent seven months in Afghanistan very hot, desolate, rough terrain country. The way I feel that you guys can make the world a better place is by doing one good deed a day to one person. If you're nice to one person per day that you don't know, it's not even in school, someone you see passing on the street or whatever it is, or wherever you are, that one person will feel better than that person it's nice to one other person. And it creates like a domino effect. You know, they, it's that whole expression of the ripple in the pond. You drop a pebble in the pond and the pond ripples out. It's the same principle. That way, the world becomes a better place because everybody is doing their part to be nice to somebody else. There's now a little clip from a show called Charlie Brown that talks about the poem in Flanders Fields. Listen very, very carefully. Stop! Stop here, Snoopy! We have to see this. Look, see these flowers? These are poppies. There's a legend that says where battles were fought, these white flowers all turned red, and in the center of each flower there was a cross. said about poppies? This is the actual British field dressing station. There, Lieutenant Colonel J.M. McRae wrote the famous poem, In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row. 
that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing. Fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. in time, which shows you that it's really important to respect and take time at 11 o'clock on November 11th to remember all those who served our countries at home and abroad. Good morning shoppers. At 11 o'clock on this 11th day of November, we'd like to invite you to share with us two minutes of silence in honor of our veterans. They fought and some died for their homeland They fought and some died, now it's our land Look at his little child, there's no fear in her eyes Could he not show respect for other dads who have died? Take two minutes, would you mind? It's a pittance of time for the boys and the girls who went over In peace may they rest May we never forget why they died It's a pittance of time God forgive me for wanting to strike him Give me strength so as not to be like him My heart pounds in my breast Fingers pressed to my lips My throat wants to ball out My tongue barely resists But two minutes I will bide It's a pittance of time For the boys and the girls who went over In peace may they rest May we never forget why they died It's a pittance of time The heroes at home They have casualties, battles And fears of their own There's a price to be paid If you go, if you stay Freedom's fought for and won In numerous ways Take two minutes, would you mind? It's a pittance of time For the boys and the girls all over May we never forget Our young become vets At the end of the line It's a pittance of time It takes courage to fight In your own war It takes courage to fight Someone else's war our peacekeepers tell 
of their own living hell they bring hope to foreign lands that hate mongers can't kill take two minutes would you mind it's a pittance of time for the boys and the girls who go over in peacetime our best still don battle dress and lay their lives on the line it's a pittance of time In peace may they rest Lest we forget why they died Take a pittance of time I'd like to ask everybody this time to please stand for the playing of the last post and the rouse. And what's going to happen is there'll be about 25 seconds of silence between the two. And during that time, you can take a moment to think about something that you're grateful for, uh, somebody you'd like to remember, and just have gratitude and pause. Thank you. Thank you all for your attention and respect during this virtual assembly for Remembrance Day. Remember, support veterans, wear a poppy, and if you see a veteran, you can say thank you to them. That would be something really kind to do and really appreciated by them. Thanks very much, everyone. <laughs>